Welcome back to TVJ's Junior Schools Challenge Quiz 2019, where both Seaview Gardens Primary and Coronalde Avenue Primary are on three points as we go into the Junior Challenge face-off. In this section, individual team members face off in the categories of Math, Science, Social Studies, and English Language. Our first face-off, it's in Mathematics, and it's between Shamar Robinson of Seaview Gardens. He's up against Cassandrin Carr of Coronalde Avenue Primary. Shamar, we begin with you. What is four-fifths of nine hundred dollars. Seven hundred and twenty dollars. That's right. Paul has Paul was twelve years old five years ago. How old will he be in seven years' time? Twenty four years old. That's right. A car traveled at one hundred kilometers per hour. How far did it travel in 30 minutes at the same rate? Time's up. Cassandrin, want to try? Yes, miss, 50 kilometers. That is correct. Shamar, what's the next square number after 81? 100. That's right. If $144 is shared in the ratio 2 to 3 to 7, what's the largest amount? 84 dollars. That's correct. Cassandra, we're now over to you. What is two-fifths of $480? Time's up. Shamar, want to try? Yes, miss. $192. That's right. Cassandra, Jillian will be 19 years old in five years' time. How old was she three years ago? Eleven. That's right. A vehicle traveled 120 kilometers per hour. How far did it travel in 45 minutes' time at the same rate? Question passes. Shamar, want to try? No, miss. It's 90 kilometers. Cassandra, what's the next prime number after 61? 63. That's incorrect. Shamar, want to try? Yes, 67. 67 is correct. Cassandra, if $169 is shared in the ratio 1 to 5 to 7, what's the second largest amount? 65 dollars $65 is correct. That takes us now to the category of science. It's between David Bell of Seaview Gardens Primary. David is up against Mikhail Hudson of Coronal de Avenue Primary. David, apart from water vapor, what's another name for the gaseous state of water? Question passes, Mikhail, want to try? It's steam. David, what's the name for a single straight root that grows down from a plant? Root. That's incorrect. Mikhail? The stem. That's also incorrect. We're looking for tap root or primary root. David, what's the name for the part of a plant that covers the flower before it opens? Sepa. That's correct. What's the name for water that condenses on cool objects from the water vapor in warm air? Okay? No. It's dew. David, apart from backbone, what's another name for the series of bones that run from the skull to the pelvis in the body? Spine or vertebrae, vertebral column, or spinal column, that is correct. Mikhail, now we're over to you. What word 
describes a material that lets light through completely. Time's up, David. Yes, thank you. Transparent. That is correct. Mikhail, after germination, what's the specific name for the new plant growth that grows upward above the ground? Root. That's incorrect, David. Yes, Miss Shoot. Shoot is correct. Mikhail, what's the name for the male part of a flower? The stamen. That is right. What happens to the amount of water vapor in the air as the temperature rises? Time's up, David. Okay. It increases. Mikhail, what one name is given to parts of the body that allows the organism to sense sound, light, and heat? David? Yes, thank you. Sense organs. Sense organs is correct. Taking us now to English language, it's between Amelia Shaw of Seaview Gardens. Amelia Shaw is up against Nia Daly of Cornell de Avenue Primary. So, Amelia, we begin with you. Form an adjective from the word nonsense. Nonsense. Abu? No, that's incorrect. Nia, want to try? No, miss. It's nonsensical. Amelia, spell sensational. S S E N S E. T-I-O-N-A-L. That's right. What tense is used in this sentence? I shall go to the country next week. Pass. Participle. That's incorrect. Nia? No, miss. It's future tense. Amelia, identify the interrogative pronoun in this sentence. Whom did you meet at school today? Um. That's right. Spell the plural of the word radio. R-A-D-I-O-S. That is correct. Now we're now over to you. Form an adjective from the word noble. Nobly. That's, Nobly. that's incorrect, Amelia. No. It's nobility. Now, spell routine. R-O-U-T-I-N-E. That's correct. What tense is used in this sentence? Daddy is riding his motorcycle to work today. Present continuous tense. That's correct. Identify the reflexive pronoun in this sentence. I did this myself. I. That's incorrect, Amelia. It's myself. Now spell the plural of the word fairy. F-A-R-I-E-S. That's incorrect. Amelia? Amelia, want to try? Yes, miss. F-A-I-R-I-E-S. That is correct. Taking us now to our final face-off. It's in the category of social studies, and it's the Battle of the Captains. We have the captain of Seaview Gardens Primary, Tishana East, up against the captain of Coronel de Avenue Primary, Javoni Robinson. So, Captain Tishana, we begin with you. CARICOM is a regional body. What does CARICOM stand for? Caribbean community. That's right. Which set of Europeans colonized the island of Cuba? The English. That's incorrect. Captain Giovanni. Yes, Miss Spaniards. Spaniards, that's correct. <coughs> Captain Tishano, under Crown Colony Government in Jamaica, the number of parishes was reduced to 14. How many existed before? Eighteen. That's incorrect. Captain Giovanni. Yes, Miss Twenty Two. That is correct. Captain Tishano. What's the name of the person who represents the Governor General of Jamaica in each parish? The Custos. That's right. In Jamaica, which governor read the Emancipation Proclamation in the 19th century? Clifford Campbell. That's incorrect. Captain Giovanni, want to try? No, miss. It's Sir Lionel Smith. Captain Giovanni, we're now over to you. Carifesta is a regional cultural celebration. What does Carifesta stand for? Caribbean festivals. That's incorrect. Yes, thank Tishana. you. Caribbean festivals of hot arts. 
judges, plural and festivals is okay? Accepted? That's accepted. Caribbean Festival of Arts is correct. Captain Giovanni, which Caribbean country is well known for its practice of voodoo? Haiti. That's right. In what year was Crown Colony Government introduced in Jamaica? 1865. That's incorrect. Captain Tishano? No, thank you. Giovanni, it was 1866. Captain Giovanni, after which elections in Jamaica are mayors normally selected? General elections. That's incorrect. Tishano? No, thank you. It's the local government elections. Captain Giovanni, at which location in Jamaica? Was the Emancipation Proclamation read by Sir Lionel Smith in the 19th century? In Kingston. That's incorrect. Tishano, would you like to try? No, thank you. It was in Spanish Town Square. And that brings us to the end of our final face-off and the end of Section 2. We have Seaview Gardens Primary on 22 points, Coronel de Avenue Primary on 10 points. Stay with us. The final challenge is up next. <laughs>